Today, we will talk about what is the difference between a ship and a boat. The words boat and ship are often used interchangeably in a general context. After all, both refer to one or other form of a water vessel that carries people or cargo across massive water bodies. Ask an average individual, and he'd probably say that a ship is relatively a larger vessel than a boat. In fact, the very first thing that comes to mind when talking about the difference between the two is the size of the vessel. Did you know, submarines are referred to as boats, irrespective of their size? Confused, whether to call a vessel that sails on a sea, is a boat, or a ship? What makes a boat different from that a ship? How do you know whether it's ship or boat? The most important aspect considered while stating the difference between a ship and a boat is the size. A boat is a small water vessel, whereas a ship, on the other hand, is a significantly larger vessel. It is said that the best way to differentiate between a ship and a boat is to remember that a ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Then what do you call this vessel? She is a Blue Marlin class of semi-submersible heavy lift ship, capable of transporting super heavy cargo, even a warship. Remember USS Cole, she was damaged by Al-Qaeda suicide bombers while anchored in the port of Aden in Yemen. Then Blue Marlin transported USS Cole back to the United States. Should the Cole be called a boat because it could be carried on a larger lift ship? The answer is no, both are ships. Some people say it's not size, it's capability that defines a vessel a ship, or a boat. Boats are made to travel on water bodies, typically inland waterways such as rivers or lakes or nearshore areas, and carry smaller loads. They are designed to work in restricted water areas. On the other hand, ships are seafaring vessels that typically travel and work on the ocean, carrying a significantly large amount of load. Another argument is differences in design, crew, and propulsion. A boat is a simpler water vessel, powered by sails, motor, or human force, and its crew depends on the size of the boat. It can be just one person, or a team of multiple members depending on the size of the vessel and its purpose. Whereas a ship is a complex water vessel, with a much advanced propulsion system that requires a team of skilled technicians, sailors, navigators, and engineers to operate. And there's a high-ranking official called the captain who is responsible for the safety of the ship and its crew. All these arguments can be countered by submarines, because in terms of size, submarines match or exceed the size and weight of many ships. If you look at Typhoon-class submarine, she has 24,500 tons displacement when surfaced, and 48,000 tons submerged. In terms of capability, it can also carry a large amount of payload, and can operate on high seas, and in restricted water areas. In terms of design complexity, submarines are also complex water vessel, and has advanced propulsion system with skilled crew to operate, and there's a high-ranking official called the captain. But with advancements in submarine design, some say submarines are boats, referring to World War I and II, then submarines were small, and spend a lot of time on the surface, some say it's a ship, referring to modern-day subs, and some say she is neither a ship nor a boat, she is a submarine. Even if you remove the submarine from the equation, the differences between ships and boats in terms of size, capabilities, design, operational areas, crew, and propulsion are not well defined then how we will differentiate it? Well, the answer is how they lean when turned. A ship leans outward when turns, whereas a boat leans inward. For example, here is the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, USS Abraham Lincoln, she is leaning outward. Here is an example of some boats leaning inward. Now the question is why some vessels are leaning outward, some vessels are leaning inward. What difference determines if a vessel leans away from the turn, or leans into the turn? It has to do with the center of gravity, COG, and the center of buoyancy, COB. A ship's center of gravity, because of the way the hull is designed, is above its center of buoyancy. A good visual example would be seeing what happens when a ship turns, it leans outside, or away from the center of the turn. But, boats are the opposite. 
the boat's center of gravity is below the center of buoyancy, as a result, the boat will lean into a turn, that is, towards the center of the turn. Generally, large vessels lean outward, and small vessel leans inward. That's why usually people say, large vessels are ships, and small vessels are boats. The International Regulations for Preventing Collision at Sea does not use either term. Instead, it uses the word, vessel. That's it for today, see you in the next video.